Well, developing tonight in the district, council member Trayon White pleads not guilty to one count of federal bribery. He's accused of accepting thousands of dollars in bribes. So his court appearance, though, it comes just hours before this very important deadline for the upcoming November election. DC News Now's Mariel Carbone has been following this case for us. Yeah, so Mariel, the big question tonight is whether or not he'll stay in the District 8 race. Uh, yeah, Chris and Susan, I mean, the answer tonight is yes, he will stay in this race. The deadline to withdraw his name from the ballot passed at 5 o'clock this evening with no request from the council member. And while some are celebrating the decision, others say that the war deserves better. Outside a federal courthouse Thursday, supporters stood by Ward 8 Council Member Trayon White. God is good. God is good, man. The council member pleading not guilty to one count of bribery, accused of agreeing to accept $156,000 in exchange for his influence on city contracts. The court appearance happening just hours before a district deadline for council candidates to withdraw their name from the November ballot. We must vote. We must not let this deter us. According to the board, of elections, White will stay in the race. His campaign manager, Freya Moore. We will continue to be in the community as always to continue to further his work. I say he has a uh, bigger fish to fry. Some voters like Quentin Lewis say they're surprised by the decision. I think he's, he's better off dropping out the race. This guy has never been a good representative for our Ward 8. Others, like longtime Ward 8 resident Earl Rodriguez, say voters deserve better. I know you're, you're innocent until proven guilty, but the reality is, and get out of the way. You're about to get locked up. Currently, four write-in candidates are vying for White's seat, plus Republican candidate Nate Derenge and White himself. In a statement, Ward 8 Democrats, who endorsed White earlier this year, said the organization is focused on encouraging participation in the election. Writing, we urge all Ward 8 Democratic voters to make informed decisions on what's at stake in this election. And so at this point, no trial date is set and White's next court date. It is after that November election. Uh, Chris and Susan mail in ballots. They go out across the district on September 30th. All right, All right. election day.